So today we're looking at our wiring harness for our Cox box system. We have our microphone, which is actually a little staticky today, plugged in to our microphone jack. So this wire runs out this way. We have our pigtail, or what I call the pigtail, our uh, main wiring harness with the four little connectors in it, the four pins going into our Cox box. And out of this comes two wires. We can trace these two wires. One of these wires runs to our rate sensor. So if we swipe this magnet over that rate sensor a couple times, we can actually look down here and we'll see that we're getting a rate on our Cox box, 61 and a half, since I'm swiping it back and forth so fast. And so this is called our A plus harness. The A plus is basically uh, the pigtail and the two wires. Uh, the plus means it's plus rate. So this rate sensor here. So this is part of your a plus harness and then this is your rate sensor here so that's a separate piece you would have to order you could follow this a plus harness down as we follow it down here we'll come to the end of it and so this is the end of our a plus harness we plug our a plus harness into our m harness and the m harness comes back here and we're able to plug it into our speaker so just those two little pins there we're able to plug it into our speaker and then we'll follow our M harness on down to the very end of it. And if we were doing a wiring harness for a four, this would be what exactly what it looks like. The end of the M harness goes into the speaker to our next speaker. If we're doing a wiring harness for an eight, so we wanted three speakers, we would just plug in an additional M harness in. And just like what you saw before, there'd be a little loop back where you'd plug another speaker in and then the wire would run down a ways and it would terminate just like this at the end with this being your third speaker then for the eight. So uh, this setup we have here is for a uh, four, just two speakers. So this is the M harness going back to the other speaker. The M harness connects to the A plus harness. A plus comes back here. It splits off. Part of it goes to our rate sensor. And then these two wires combine back into our pigtail, back into our Cox box unit to give us rate and also the voice amplification through the microphone to the speakers. So a couple things to note here. Typically, these harnesses run through these little holes in the hull, sometimes under the foot stretcher deck here, or under the uh, under the seat deck, sorry. These little holes to the bulkheads. And then they might come out through there for your rate sensor, continue to run on back through another little hole here for your uh, main wiring harness on back through there until you reach your first speaker. You can see it right there. You can either run the wires uh, along the uh, boat there or under the seat deck is preferable. Sometimes you run them through a channel in the bottom of the boat. There's a little channel that runs along. And most of these kits, the harnesses come with these little connectors. We'll show you. So these little connectors come with uh, alcohol swabs, swipe the boat off with, and then uh, little zip ties. And you just peel off the back here. As you peel off the back, you would stick that onto the boat and then run your zip tie Hold your wire down the middle there, run your zip tie through the side. Say this uh, this other zip tie was the wiring harness coming through here. So you have your wiring harness, you run the zip tie around it, zip tie it to it, pull it tight, cut off the excess, and then this holds your wiring harness firmly to the side of the boat so the wires aren't dangling around and getting in the way of the rowers. So that's basically it for your, uh, your Cox box wiring system. Uh, one thing you might consider doing is if you're replacing the whole wiring harness down the length of the boat is to actually tape the new wiring harness to the old one and as you pull the old one out through the hull it'll pull the new one into place that makes it really easy otherwise you may have to feed by hand and the trickiest part is really just getting the wiring harness fed through the channels or fed through those little holes along the boat underneath the seat decks so it's all nice and neat. Uh, hopefully you found this video helpful. Any questions shoot us a note on the website. Thanks for watching. Good luck.